In this review, we're going to look at the Action Force Delta Trooper with the Delta Gear Set by Valiverse. This is my first uh, troop builders I got from Valiverse. So I got a few of the other individual characters, but uh, this is my very first troop builders. I've opened about two of these. I got one already decked out in his gear. First up, let's go ahead and look at the packaging. It's really nice, clean packaging. We got the single box. We got the Action Force logo on the front. Some nice artwork of the character on the front of the box. We got shows two different heads: Action Force logo, Delta Trooper, the Valiverse logo, and we got. Same artwork on the side in black and white. And we got the logo down here. We got Action Force warning. Choking hazards on, uh, for, not for children under five years old. These are meant for adult collectibles. Oh, we even got their side onion on the bottom and the barcode on the on the bottom of the box. Oh, this is nice. We actually got a text uh, like a text spec on the back. We got a bio card. You can cut and save those out like the classic GI Joe stuff. Action points. Curious to see what they end up doing with these action points. Scan for additional action force products. Let's look at the packaging for the gear set right quick. Gear set is a similar size box, exact same size box. We got artwork of the what the gear set comes with. We got the vest, helmet, goggles, knife, pistol, belt, uh, rifle. I uh, got some extra magazines. My backpack. Same artwork on the side in black and white. And on the back you see all the different stuff that comes in the, with it. You got the uh, headphones that go to, to the helmet and different blast effects. Let's go ahead, let's open these up and take a look. First up, let's look at the, the figure. Okay, it's much like with the we Hasbro used to do with their troop builders. We get the figure in a baggie. And the import style figures do this kind of stuff too. This is cool. We got the figure. Got the figure stand. And we get an alternate head. And a bunch of different extra hands. And a pistol. We got two different style heads. We got a for a Caucasian white character and for a black character, which I like the bill. Since I got two of these, I can display it both ways. And it's one thing with my GI Joes, they're seriously lacking in numbers. I've been making like kit bashes and customs to add to the ranks because the Cobras are outnumbering them like crazy. And you got, they do all kinds of troop builders for the, uh, for the Cobras, not so much for the Joes. So this is gonna work out great. Out of the packaging, installed on the figure, you get two trigger hands which are vertically hinged. This is the way you should do trigger fingers. They should have vertical hinges. We get two sets of fists, horizontally hinged. You get C grip hands, horizontally hinged. And you get two, uh, like, either like signaling to your, like, come on, or uh, signaling to your uh, rest of the troops, like, come, uh, these are really cool. Both of these are uh, horizontally hinged as well. I like that little baggie to keep your accessories in. Let's look at the figure itself. Let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the detailing on it. Really nice face decos. You've got the digital printing on the eyes. I like the, all the texture and, re uh, and the wrinkles. Molded into the figure. Looks like a character wearing clothing and not just sprayed on costume like they do with a lot of Marvel Legends. With the like with Bucky Cap. This has been a standard for Marvel Legends for the longest time. And it looks like a basically a nude body that's been painted in colors. There's no details like on uh, wrinkles in the fabric or anything. It's straight up muscular sculpture onto the figure. One thing you got to Looks like clothing is the boots and the gloves. But on this, you've got some nice details. You've got wrinkles on the sleeves, the arms, the chest, the abdomen area. Nice texture on the pants. 
They molded on zippers onto the legs. And all of it has a nice textured like cloth looking pattern onto the here. And like the the black areas up here is like a mesh like style material. Like the material would breathe if it was real clothing. You got elbow pads molded, knee pads. I like how they do the knee pads so they're not just a solid chunk. Just guard where they need to be. Nice looking boots. Got the straps around the boots molded. And uh, looks good. For articulation, it's, uh, the head is on a disc hinge with a ball joint on top. So it can look up. Can look down. Full 360. Not much tilt, actually no tilt whatsoever since there's, it's not like the G.I. Joe's. The G.I. Joe's have the neck as a separate piece. These are part of the body. Disc in shoulders. They go up to here. Full 360. There's a butterfly joint. Kicks back this far. Kicks forward this far. Bicep rotation. Double jointed elbow. Gets you up to here. And you get hinge and swivel wrist. The trigger hands are vertically hinged. The other hands are horizontally. Full 360. There's a diaphragm joint, which I love diaphragm joints when they're done properly. Let's see how this one does. Bends back this far on its own. Crunches forward more. But if you, There's a ball joint at the waist too, so if you crunch all the way back, you get this much range of motion. And this much forward. Can you rotate at that ball joint? You can rotate the ball joint as well, and the diaphragm joint, and it rotates as well. Great range of motion on this, so you can really get the figure in more like a natural poses. Now, luckily, they round at the bottom of the joint too, so allows for some rocking from side to side as well. Looks more natural when you're moving the figure. When you have like a standard style ab crunch and twist, you get like a break in the sculpt when you move the waist twist. The hips are on drop down ball joints so they can hinge up and down. Much like uh, the Jajo classified figures. And they pull down that far for kicking, uh, allow for more range of movement. So you can kick up this far when you drop down the hinge. He can kick up a little bit farther and get this far back actually better than the joes and does the full van dam and thigh rotation double joint knees and it's very tight it's a new figure get you up this far and get you boot rotation Hinged ankles, go back this far, go forward this far, good range of motion, and ankle pivots. Great range of articulation on this figure. Let's put him to the side and let's look at the, the gear set. Okay, we got the gear set broke up into different pieces. The weapons here, we got the rifle, the pistol, knife, and the magazines. We got the muzzle flashes and the antenna for the for the backpack. The plugs into here, as you can see on the one already set up. I like it set, uh, bagged separately so it don't get broke. Broke one with them in the packaging. We got the backpack, the belt with the holster. We get. The helmet with the headset pieces, which you can actually move in different locations. Uh, the goggles that go on the helmet. You get the tactical vest. On the, the packaging, it shows the this uh, nice sheath is a separate piece, but it's actually glued on when you, in the packaging. Which 
go ahead and get him geared up. We ain't got the tactical vest on. It's a little did off screen because uh, it's a little difficult to get this thing snapped together. I found it's best to use like a micro flathead screwdriver, heat this piece up a little bit with a blow dryer, and work in the pegs with the micro screwdriver to poke into the holes. You want this to stay cool, this warm, makes it easier to get the parts on. Same way with like the belt, a heat and pop a leg, makes it easier to slide the belt on. And the hips are actually made of a softer material, so you can actually just take a blow dryer, heat it up, pop it off the ball joint, slide the belt on, pop it right back on. And let's see, what else we got? We got the uh, weapons pack. That's all I like about this weapons pack. He can actually hold every weapon he comes in his pack. You got the nice uh, rifle with a suppressor on the end. It's got a removable magazine. Those are really nice. You got two extra magazines. They go in these pouches in the front. Love the fact these are actual individual pieces and not molded onto the vest. A really nice knife. These Valiverse knives are hard ABS plastic. This is right here shows it's not meant for kids too. A little kid swallow that. Uh, that's gonna cause some injury. Heck, I could actually stab that in my hand. This thing has got a sharp tip. It's really nice high-end adult collectible piece. Goes into the sheath in the front of the vest. And we got that on. We got two choices on heads. We got the Caucasian white head and the African American black head. Both of them look great. You got the the uh, digital print tampo graphs on the for them for the eyes. On the other one, I had an issue with the this head. It's like the all the paint was really good except for one little spot here it's like maybe like there's a drop of mold release was left on there when they paint it and it just wiped that paint that paint came right off you can see the brown skin tone underneath so i ended up using some military green did it on the both sides makes a nice little contrast i like the added contrast to just painting those cheek pieces uh darker green which i'm going to use this head Okay, we got a pistol that goes into the holster. And we got I'm gonna do the rifle. That's one thing I like about having Valiverse figures. You get a nice uh, array assortment assortment of hands. I can actually make my Valiverse characters right handed. All the Joes are left handed mostly. Pretty much all of them except for like the big guys, they both have they have two horizontal hinges. And all the other Joes and Cobra figures only have a vertical hinge on the left side. The rest of them are all horizontally hinged. We'll go with the head that I touched up. Or you paint a little on the sides. I like that little extra, like I said, a little bit of dark green. Adds a little contrast and makes them look a little more different, more unique. So the standard one looks fine. Like I said, there's the only reason I did this one because uh, something was wrong with the paint and it just, I mean, I just wiped it right off on that one little spot. The rest of the paint was fine. Like there was a drop of mold release or something was left on the plastic when they painted it. We got the helmet and you got the goggles. You can have them up or down depending on how you plug, uh, plug them into the helmet. You can over the eyes on the down and flip it around have them flipped up the last piece to put on is the antenna on the back um, the one thing I noticed too though with this and with the communications uh, on the back can't really plug this backpack in it's in the, it will not plug in that's a little bit of a issue with this vest where it's a communications vest 
Uh, let's see, we got the muzzle flashes. And the antenna. Oh, and here is the default pistol that comes with the Delta Trooper. It's a pistol with a long magazine, high capacity magazine, and a suppressor on the on the end. And it is also compatible with the muzzle flashes. Bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. <laughs> and we got the antenna goes into the walkie in the back. There we go. That looks good. I love these Delta Troopers. This is what I've been wanting to like build out my, my Joes. These look fantastic. Like a, with all Valiverse figures, they come with an Action Force uh, display stand with multiple peg positions for different different stances onto it. Instead of just a vanilla pose, you can actually, and it's wide enough where you can actually do like a nice action style pose on your stands. With the tactical vest on, you will get just a little bit of impediment uh, with that diaphragm joint, but it still moves really nice. Got nice round about motion. Great with uh, all these figures, but one thing you need to be careful with the little antenna on the back. It is a hard ABS plastic, so it will be, you can break this one. Once it's plugged in, it looks good. If you got other Valiverse figures, you can actually interchange the parts. Looks like I got the Duster Team Kennedy. You can actually use these hands for a little bit different look if you want to change them up. All these are compatible. I got different style. With uh, Tim Candy, actually came with different uh, headset. So I actually use these. This one instead of the ones that came with the Delta pack. Change things up a little on these. All in all, these are fantastic troop builders. I love these things. These are such great figures. Articulation's nice. Once you get the gear packs on them, uh, they're just great additions to your Joe shelf. So we were seriously lacking in troop builders for Joes, and these fit the bill just fine. I couldn't recommend these enough. These are look so good. So the only issue I got with them. The way these vests are pat, uh, designed, you can't really get the backpack on them. Not really a big issue for me, uh, but it would have been a nice uh, option because this is glued on. There's no way to take that off without ruining the, the vest. Uh, good thing oh, well, for these Valiverse uh, backpacks, though, you can actually open them up and store some of the hands and accessories inside of it. So that would have been nice if you were able to carry that, but it stays in a little bit, but it, it's going to fall out. Not necessary for my, for my needs. I wanted two extra troopers for my Joes, and so I got such a massive amount of Cobra troop builders. These are a great addition to my shelf. And if you're looking for Valiverse stuff, you can find them on Valiverse's website, Big Bad Toy Store, Darkside Toys, and several other online retailers. I said, if you if you like military figures and you like troop build, like just troop building, get these things. These these things are awesome. I think Darkside actually has a like a desert camo like exclusive coming out for them. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I catch y'all next time.